fun. Hi team, I know we're all stuck at home and it gets a little bit boring um, and we're doing all our classes online and the one-on-one -on -one classes at the moment, but I've got some things for you to do to practice your martial arts techniques while you're at home. And one of those things we're gonna run through today during the class, but there is something you have to create to make this possible. Now you will maybe probably need a parent to help you along with some of this, but it's a really good way to do a little bit of craft while you're at home learning from home. So what you're gonna need is some string, a tennis ball. I'm using a cable tie, but I'll show you two ways to do it. And something to make a hole in the tennis ball. Now I've got a screwdriver here, which you could use, or a pair of scissors, but it really comes down to what you have uh, at home and what your parents are willing to let you do or do for you. I'm gonna use this, uh, the scissors. I feel like I should probably use a big sword, but maybe not. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna puncture a hole in the tennis ball on one side, and I'm gonna make it a little bit big. I don't need to be uh, careful to make a small hole. And then on the other side, I'm gonna make another hole. Carefully, because we don't want to cut ourselves. All right, so now I've got two holes in my tennis ball, and I can use the screwdriver to make that visible so you can see that there's two holes. Now I'll show you the two different ways you can put this together. First way is you could actually make, thread the string all the way through the tennis ball and tie a big knot on one end and it would hang through. What we're gonna do though is we're gonna use a cable tie. I always think when you're making something, it's always good to use either duct tape or a cable tie. So in this case, we're gonna go a cable tie. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually put the cable tie on the edge of the screwdriver. So when I'm pushing the screwdriver back through the tennis ball, the cable tie will stay along the edge of the screwdriver. And then as I push it through further and further, I've gotta try and make sure that the cable tie comes out the other end. Now this is the tricky bit, and why I said you can make a pretty big hole, because you've gotta try and get the cable tie to come out the other end. And I'm having a little bit of issues here, Let's just keep going. I'm not quite sure where the cable tie is sitting here inside the tennis ball, because I can't see inside the tennis ball, unfortunately. But we'll just keep going. Oh, oh I can see it, I can see it. Okay. Now, if I can get it to the point where I can see the cable tie, what I could be able to do is pull it through and out. You can, oh, it's starting to come out, starting to come out. Done, okay? So now I've got my cable tie going through my tennis ball. Now, before I was saying you could do this with the string as well through the cable tie, but the thing, uh, through the tennis ball, I should say. But when you make that knot in the end of the tennis, uh, of the string, you've got to make sure the knot's bigger than the hole. And sometimes it might mean that if you, kick the ball too hard, you might kick it off the string. But with the cable tie method, that shouldn't happen. So, I've got my cable tie. I put a little bit of tightness on my cable tie. I don't want to make it as tight as we can do. And I'll just, just to make it clean, I'll get rid of the end. Okay, so there's my cable tie. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just tie my string to the end of that cable tie. Okay. Now, I want the cable tie a little bit out of the way. I don't want this bit down here because we're going to kick this. We don't want to kick the top of the cable tie. We want to kick the tennis ball itself. So we want to make sure that it, uh, it stays safe. Now, how you actually tie this on yourself is up to you. I like to go fishing, so I use a fisherman's reef knot because I think that's actually a pretty good knot and pretty strong. Okay, there we go, reef knot on. Now I can kick that, and we can use it, and I'll show you how to use it in class today. Have fun, guys.